Salam everyone and hello to YouTube viewers. I want to make a quick video explaining what are some of the things that could cause your body weight to fluctuate on the scale on a daily basis. So I weigh myself daily. So and I've been doing this for like four months now. I weigh myself daily, I record it, I have an Excel document, I record every single meal that I take in, I calculate all my calories and everything for the day so I can go back and look at my records and I can adjust uh, accordingly if I need to. So once you know what they are, well you can kind of anticipate it and you won't be so frustrated when you see the scale go up or down the following day. So some of the things that do cause your weight to fluctuate are as follows. Uh, your glycogen level, this is really, really big. Now when you store glycogen, carbs essentially, when they convert to glucose, which is stored as, a, as glycogen, every pound of glycogen, your body will hold on to three or four pounds of water. So the more glycogen you have, the more water your body will hold. So this will definitely affect your scale in the morning. So if you decrease your glycogen, if you decrease your carbs, your glycogen levels decrease and your water level decrease. So you'll actually see that. It's not fat loss or fat gain at this point. It's just you're, you're playing with your water levels and you're playing with your glycogen levels. So glycogen is a very, very big element which causes your weight to fluctuate. Uh, salt. So if I go, I don't eat out at all. I rarely eat out. Now you may think, okay, you can go to a restaurant and have a meal. Well, you know what? There's gonna be salt in there. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you actually taste the salt. There's salt in there. I mean, they can put salt in a meal and you won't taste the salt. And you'll notice the next day, all of a sudden, your weight goes up by about by a pound and you don't understand why. It's because it was salt. So this is why I cook at home. I recommend you guys cook at home. Don't eat out. Don't use salt. This way, you, you won't have fluctuations on the weight and everything will be stable. So salt, glycogen, very important. Injury. Uh, another one is injury or disease. If you have a virus or your disease or something, the body's first mechanism, self-defense mechanism, is to hold on to water. This is how it heals itself. So if you have a virus, stomach virus or something like that, expect to hold water. Expect it. So don't freak out when you see the scale if your water, if your weight goes up. It's not fat. This once again, it's water levels. So injury, glycogen, uh, salt. Uh, workout session. Let me give you an example. Uh, I haven't been training legs for the longest time because I do so much cardio, but I decided, I was excited. I said, okay, let's go ahead and do legs. I did squats, uh, leg curls, leg extensions. The following day, my legs were really sore. And it was funny, the following day, I actually went up a pound. Does that mean I gained a pound of fat? No, not at all. It just means the body now is holding on to water because it's, it's healing my legs. This is where all the lactic acid was. The following day after that, the second day after my workout, I went up another pound. And what was that? It's just the way the body heals itself. The third day after that, I dropped a pound. The fourth day after that, I dropped a pound. And five days later, I was back to my normal weight. So when you train, uh, especially your legs and your back, the big muscles, not really your shoulders or chest, but especially your legs and your back, and you're really sore, expect your weight to go up by a little bit. Uh, stress levels. If you're stressed at work, your body will hold on to water. It just does that. It holds on to water. So if you if you have an extra stress, uh, some some new element in your life that's causing you stress, you can expect your scale weight to go up a little bit. Your activity levels. If you're not as active, if all of a sudden you stop going to the gym or you take two three days off, you can expect your weight to go up because your your if your activity decreases. Well, you're not using up your glycogen, and if you're not using up your glycogen, it means your glycogen is slightly higher. If it's higher, well, it's going to hold on to more water. That's just the way it is. So remember that also. Uh, water intake. This is not intuitive. We would think that the less you drink, the less your body holds on. It's actually quite the opposite. Uh, it recognizes it's not getting the water, so it holds on to all the water it can to preserve itself. So if you want to lose weight, uh, drink more water. This is what they always say. So drink more water. To, for your body to expel the water. Uh, diuretics like coffee, uh, especially a high protein diet. I'm on a high protein diet. Protein itself is a diuretic. So it has a, a, a diuretic effect. It will dehydrate you. So you must hydrate yourself. So protein will actually make your weight go down. It doesn't mean you lost fat or anything. It just means it's causing your body to expel the water. So to counteract that, you should be drinking a lot of water if you're on a high protein diet. Now these are just some of the elements which could cause fluctuations in your weight. As long as you know them, you can anticipate it and 
you'll better understand your weight loss journey and the, the, if your scale goes up and down by a couple of pounds, no problem, you'll be able to deal with it. All right, thanks for watching, take care.